Hello everybody. So today I'm here again with this full energy fact. You can see how cool is this. I didn't have a animated wolf, so I just animated this static. You can put animated and an, uh, character here, wolf or anything you like, and. These are the rocks that are burning like lava and some cracks on ground and sparks and dis heat distortion and they all are eroded. See the particles coming from his eyes. So let's just check it out what I have done for this effect. Okay, so this is the particle I have you can see here this is the effect okay so one by one check so this is my wolf I use this mesh Okay, this is starting match not animation and it's coming from this point to here with velocity initial velocity minus y and when it comes here it, it stops because I use velocity of a life so at 0 it has velocity at point 0.185 it has no velocity so it, it stops. In dynamic parameter, I use erode of a life. You can see 0.85 is not eroding, and 0.1 is erodes. For erode, I use this material. First of all, because if I check my character here, it has this shiny, glowing edges because I use fractional and i hope you know how fractional works it's divide your edges on camera based and here i have mask for his claws and teeth and eyes so all three things you can see eyes and teeth are red because i use this mask then i use this panning noise and erode with this dynamic parameter you can see if i decrease the value of the erode it's erodes and the white color is particle color that i changed in here okay so it at zero it erodes completely okay So basically this was my material then for these rocks first of all before rocks let's check it out one by one second is erode particle when this wolf erodes some particles emit from him because I use this sphere here and I use delay 5.2 because it takes time to erode okay so I match the time then this was this sphere was at his torso so I used another sphere that is for his chest okay so I match time then some embers coming from the edge of rocks if i turn on both you can see they are side by side of walls roof and here i used a eye particle you can see i have placed a sphere here this is gpu sprite so i use velocity vector field if i show you 
can say this okay so the timing i said when it stops here the i particle emits okay i only place this i particle for one i because here i my camera angle was like i can't see both eyes so you can place both eyes you just have to duplicate it and just place it here then some streaks that comes with wolf and it has light also you can see if i turn on light radius you can see lights coming with the streaks the material is very simple sparks texture and material then some heat distortion you can see here and you can also see here heat distortion see for heat distortion you can take just a normal map and pan it in normal and refraction is zero so it's heat distortion then some smoke and for smoke i use a noise texture that is overlapping and creating this very cool effect on edges like plasma and it's aligned at velocity so it's stretching here it shows the speed of energy then here my rocks start first rock first of all i'll check my all the rocks here i have these rocks okay 12 if i open first i have combined two rocks for the edges if i open 10th rock you can see i have combined two mesh in each and how i placed it here so at rock 1 if I check pivot it's in center if I check rock 12 and check pivot it's offset it from pivot so all the pivots of rocks are centered on zero axis and the mesh is offset it from center so I didn't have to manage the placement here I just put all the rocks at zero and they just placed where they were supposed to if I turn on all the meshes here twelve if I play you can see they one by one emits and where why how they emits first rock emits with delay 0.1 second rock with delay 0.2 so it just delay they are emitting with the delay 0 0.3 0 0.4 0 0.5 0 0.6 okay and the material this is dissolving so in dynamic parameter you can see erode parameter 0.6 means half of the life they don't erode and after half life 0.6 is starting eroding like my wolf if i check my material here first of all i use this texture for base rock then i use fire texture and use a gradient because i want bottom very hot of the rocks if i just you can see the bottom is burning too much so i use this gradient and just lurp my fire with the mask this gradient so and he has very powerful value and then for erode i use mask 
opacity mask and this noise texture that this panning and I use dynamic parameter here to mask it to erode my texture nothing special in it I used normal map and here I used for random tiling I use a tile here for base texture in dynamic parameter you can see tile random oops I didn't do that point five now random tiles or I can do just okay so they just erodes after some life because I killed the I have two keys here in the parameter so after this I use this crack and how this crack is animating with the wolf I use initial location and I put some keys here at zero initial location is at zero at one initial location spread the area where wolf comes here so it just spreads here and for actual material I used this as alpha then fire for base color some normal map and then I use two more crack for edge of my rocks same material same texture just the placement is different okay so this was overall effect let's check it out in report First of all, my book, it comes, it stops, and it erodes with material and parameter. Okay. Then, erode particle one, I have placed the sphere here for his back, and I have used delay to match the timing. Then, second erode particle, I have also a sphere that I placed on his chest. And use delay to match the timing then just skip the embers use the eye particle here I have placed the sphere also that GP particle using velocity vector field that emitting at his eyes then I will use on my first rock first rock emit here just pop up then second rock with some delay third rock with some more delay fourth rock and so on one by one they erodes sorry they emit all the rocks now crack for the character I used initial location and animated it so it follows the character then one more crack for the rocks one more for other side of rocks okay now here I used embers for the rocks coming from here and it has light also then second ember for the other side of rocks then I use these streaks spark particle I have stressed too much because 
to show the velocity and then his distortion here you can see my head distortion then some smoke here also stressed so I think all the emitters are turned on so this was my house effect I hope you liked and you learned something with this this is not too much things in this effect I think it's very easy just play some rocks and animated the balls and some sparks cracks you could use this effect uh, differently you can add more things in it you can add different character or different type of feel to this effect So thanks for watching my tutorial and subscribe my channel, comment below any suggestion, any comment and like my videos, share my videos, keep learning, thank you.